Hey coach, this is Scott Lloyd from Madavis, and thank you for joining us here today. In today's talk, we're really gonna focus on some quick and simple ways to maximize your practice time through drills, but also engage your athletes in a new way that helps develop instinctual tacklers that are ready to dominate contact on game day. So here at Atavis, we actually take the two-step approach to tackling, first being the pre-contact phase, okay? So what I mean by that is having controlled movement to really maximize body-on-body -body contact. And when that contact is made, now we're looking at both maximizing power and control throughout contact. Today. The strike is what is gonna be the focal point in today's discussion, you'll see in the drill later, okay? So the three elements that we look for are first having great body position into contact to really maximize power. So having a neutral neck hitting within the strike zone of the runner. Next is gonna be the strike where now we have a loaded shoulder and a great punch through contact. And lastly, we're tying it all together with a great finish to maintain those two things. And coaches, keep in mind here that everything here is simultaneous, one collision at the point of contact. Okay, so some keys to focus on when teaching the strike is, like I said before, having that primary shoulder contact, hitting with the biggest part of your body, okay, coaches? Next is going to be that jab punch. Now, this is an element that you can emphasize tomorrow. This is great when it comes to really maximizing control, but also you're teaching the athlete how to really maximize his body, okay? Then lastly is gonna be the hip extension, which you call strike timing. So you're looking for great knee to hip ratio to really generate power. Some visual cues to look for having square shoulders throughout contact, so not turning, but also having your hands and elbows tight. Here's a great example of strike timing in a simple contact drill we like to use. So you'll see here a defender in black, you'll see that his hips are right over his knees, allowing for a great transfer of weight to power, rolling off the balls of his feet to really dominate contact. Now some visual cues we look for in terms of poor execution are when now the hips are past the knees launching. We call that early strike timing. And typically that leads to less control into contact. Another thing we focus on in terms of poor execution is late strike time. So now you'll see the defender here, his, his hips are behind his knees, flat-footed, waiting on the contact, leading to less power. So here's our one-knee tackle drill, which is a great drill to focus on both strike timing but effective punch into contact. Good luck, coaches, and thank you. Combined with foot placement. This drill teaches players how to drive off a proper plant foot, use their shoulder as primary contact while executing an effective punch, wrap, and squeeze. Let's take a look. For the setup, mark out a practice space that's three yards by five yards. Cones are optional for this drill. If you use them, place them two to three yards apart to mark off the starting points for the offense and defensive players. Multiple pairs can go at the same time in this drill. Set each pair about five yards apart from each other to avoid accidental contact. The defense and offense will set up directly in front of each other. The coach will then tell the players the direction of the drill before they start. Now that you've seen the setup, let's walk through the drill. The defense's first step should be on his toe, with the offense standing two or three yards away. On go, if the defense is striking with his left shoulder, the offense begins his steps with his left foot. On his second step, he will step at an angle onto his right foot. In doing so, the offense will take a less punishing hit. Defense reacts to the offensive movement by pushing off his near foot. This is maximized when his toe is planted even with the other knee. The defense then drives off the planted foot, extends his hips, and strikes the offense with his near shoulder as primary contact, punching past the target to maximize control. It's important that the defender keeps his eyes up while he is executing a proper wrap and squeeze and taking the offensive player to the ground. And here it is again. Be sure to emphasize these coaching points. The defense should have his elbows in tight to his chest before he makes contact. The defense's first step should be on his toe. The defense should make primary contact with a near shoulder and near foot strike. As the defense makes contact, he must punch past the target. This will make for an easier wrap. Each motion will be more explosive with proper timing.